just gonna die in the end. <laughs> okay, guys, it's time for my Hero Academia 31. This is something that I, I don't think I really experienced at this level before, is that a villain gets taken out, and yet that villain's legacy is what inspires the... Um, the what's the word on the villainy coming up or the conflicts going forward and even though stain has been taken down now what he you know what his standards were what he stood for what he was fighting against the heroes for has inspired a whole new <laughs> group of villains that's kind of neat i mean to to have attached that to him that even if he's not an active villain at the time, even if he's been taken out of the equation, he's still having a huge effect on how things go. I mean, like in Naruto and stuff, like, you could say there were some villains that, you know, what they left inspired what would come, but I don't think quite as directly as this, you know, where this this new opposition exists only because of Stain's actions. That, that's, that, that's pretty freaking cool. I, I, I mean... That, Again, it's it's really good storytelling. It, it's different, and that's one of the things I really like about My Hero Academia is the way it approaches the storytelling. And as always, My Hero Academia is the series we bring here from the Goosh, which is our Patreon. That's where we watch all, oh my goodness, all kinds of anime. It, it, I was just going through the list of things we watched over there uh, the other day. I was just going through the, the, feature, the tags list. It's amazing even to me how much anime we've gotten through already. I'm actually starting to get to the point where I don't think I'm necessarily an anime rookie anymore anyway. I've got a, a, a decent amount of knowledge, and, and it's fun. Goddamn, I'm nerded out for it. Still haven't got to start Overlord yet. We finished Hunter Hunter. I'll be starting Overlord uh, tomorrow. Can't wait to see that. And, of course, chomping at the bit for One Piece. Uh, Dragon Ball Super's going with the tournament coming up, as I mentioned yesterday, too. My uh, Food Wars is a blast. A lot, of, a lot of cool, quirky characters in Food Wars, and just... <laughs> the way things are settled with cooking is kind of cool and quirky in itself. And, but the you know when the cooking is good enough to knock clothes off, I'm on board. Except when, yeah, when God Tongue knocked off the sumo's clothes, I could have done with a little less of that. But but outside of that, <laughs> outside of that, everything's everything's good at Food Wars. But as always, if you guys uh, want to see my reaction. In its entirety, Dumb My Hero Academia 31, there's a link right in the description. Just click on it. You can go watch the reaction. Also, if you want to see all the things we've watched and have watched over at the Goosh, our Patreon, there's a pinned post that lists absolutely everything that goes on and has gone on over there. Anything we're not watching is all archived. Five bucks a month, and you get to see everything, all the videos we make. So if, if you want to come out and hang out, hang out over there with us, check it out. Uh, on top of everything else, just it's a it's a really fun community over there. I know I say that all the time, but it is. I mean, we have a blast just in the comments section and in the community tab, and it, we just have a lot of fun over there. So that's what it is. Uh, also, my Hero Academia 31, though, I thought it was really, I think it's going to be really poignant with this whole revelations that All Might is going to be sharing with Midoriya and what went on prior in All Might's life and how he... How he ended up, you know, with the quirk and and the ones that have come before, I guess. That's going to be, I think, really fascinating and open up a lot of doors or open up a lot of vision towards what we can expect from and for Midoriya.